Yo, what's going on guys? RGV2 here, back with part two of best teams to use on FIFA 21. Now in this video, we are not going to be going through any five star teams here. Yeah? This one is for four stars and four, maybe four and a half. I mean, you know, it's mainly gonna be four and a half and four star teams, yeah? Like, like as you can see from screen already, you can see Everton. So these are the type of teams I'm gonna be going through, yeah? I'm just, I'm just gonna give you a quick seven teams that you could use, you know what I'm saying, yeah? Okay, so first team is Everton. Now you're probably thinking, now listen, I'm not telling you to go use Everton when your friend or your opponent is using a team like Real Madrid. No, no, no. This is when your, you and your friend wanna do four and a half star versus maybe four star or four and a half star, yeah? So you wanna, you wanna equal out the teams and you're thinking, okay, what four and a half star team can I go for? Everton is the team. Now let me explain to you why. You got 80 rated Pickford in goal. That's decent. 80 rated mean um Keane, 79 rated Mina. That's good. They're both two strong centre backs. You could use Digne left back. I don't know what Godfrey is oh doing there, but you can God. use Mason Holgate as a right back. Or you could put Seamus Coleman there. Then again, Seamus Coleman isn't that fast anymore, so it might be better for you to use Holgate. Now, in the central midfield, you got Allen, the great strong Brazilian, and you got the Corey, the powerhouse. You know what I'm talking about. Then, out wide, you got the main man, Richarlison. In central attacker mid, got Ames Rodriguez who can do a lot of things, play you through, score goals, you know what I'm saying, he can do it all. And then you got it will be out on the wing, who you might just want to use for you know, dribbling. And then up front, you got the main man, Calvert-Lewin. Or you could play Richarlison striker if you want, and then play Bernard left wing. It's up to you. You've got a great selection on the bench, bench as well. You've got Delft there, Sigerson there. You know what I'm saying, there's a lot of options. So you might want to use Everton because Everton actually do look like a solid team. Next team that you have, which is pro probably going to be the best four and a half star team, I mean, or maybe, possibly, but Leicester City. Now, as you can see already, you've got a great 87 rated striker in this team, an 85 rated goalkeeper on this team, an 83 and 84 central midfield in Ndidi and Tillemans, and in Cam you have Madison. Now, the, the wing backs are a bit shaky, you know, but I'm telling you, that doesn't matter. I wouldn't suggest putting O'Brien on the wing because I, I don't think he's that good. So you, you could find some. Let's see who else could possibly play on the wing. All right, then here we go. Perez, right wing. There you go. You see what I'm talking about? You see what? Or you could play Undai, Under, instead of Barnes. But then again, Barnes is kind of pacey, so you know you might want to use Barnes. If you're not feeling Fofana, who is kind of pacey, you could play him. And look. How could I forget Pereira? See, there we go. I, I knew I knew they had the wing backs. I knew it. I just it was silly squad updates. And then you could play Mendy in the midfield if you want. You see, you got you got excellent options. You got excellent options in this Leicester team. This is a great Leicester team which you will actually enjoy using, especially when you have James Madison playing the through balls to the fast Jamie Vardy, who is most likely 100% going to score his chances. So Leicester's the team you want to use. Next team you are going to want to use. Now, I know you guys are looking at the overall and you're thinking, hmm, why would I want to use this team? Why would... But listen, if you're a good FIFA player, you'll be able to make this team work. Wolves, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Now, this is a great team if you ask me. Traore, they've got a lot of pace and they've got some techie Portuguese players in the team. Now, try out what try away out wide, bursting through the front line. You know what I'm saying? Podence or Jimenez. Jimenez is a bit slow, so you might want to be careful with him. But he's kind of good if you somehow do manage to get him in front of goal. Neto out wide on the left wing. Matinho and Neves, central midfield. You really know how it goes. Defensively, they are kind of shaky. You know, but they, they do have Semedo, who's fast, and they do have Patricio in goal. But other than, other than that, you, you know, you may experience some problems, but it's okay though, because the attack, if, you, if you're if you someone who's, you know, you're good at out, out, outscoring your opponents, you're not good defensively, but you're good attacking wise, then Wolves is the team for you. Because attacking wise, you'll dominate them. But defensively, that's why they're doing five at the back right now. That's why, that's why you can see five at the back, because the defense is a bit shaky. So you might want to be careful, but I would suggest, if, listen, if you're not good defensively, and you're not a solid attacking lead, Wolves is in the team for you, okay? If you're very, very good attacking wise, Wolves is the team for you because you'll be able to use their attack to your advantage. 
next team moving out of the Premier League we got Olympic Lyon Memphis Depay in striker Awa Mendes centre midfield Marcelo and Denea in centre backs Lopez 83 raid and they got fast wingers what could possibly go wrong with using this team this is a great underrated team that people don't know about they've got good players in this team but there's a lot of fast players in this team that's that's the thing there's a lot of fast players in this team and like i said in the previous team if you're good attacking wise this will be able to help you defensively they are actually good as well so that's not even a problem remember you're only going to be using this team when you're playing a team of similar stars you're not going to want to use this team against real madrid are you because you already know what the outcome is going to be but yeah if you're using this team against similar opponents then yeah you have a great chance of actually winning so yeah, Leon is the team, especially with Memphis to pay. If you can use Memphis to pay to your advantage, so you're using his five star skills correctly, you're make you're setting the right instructions on him, using him in the right formation, then yeah, you're gonna enjoy using Leon. I'm telling you, you're gonna enjoy it. A new team that has recently caught my eyes, and I I know people out there aren't using this team. People are sleeping on this team, Atalanta. Atalanta from Serie A. Look at this four and a half star team. Who would have thought they're four and a half stars? I know you didn't think they were four and a half stars. People didn't think they were four and a half stars. And now let me explain to you why they are four and a half stars. Look at their attack. Ilisic, Zapata, Gusens. This team is full of quality players. I'm telling you now. B, listen, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna advise you to use three at the back. Yeah, if you're not good defensive wise, I don't think you should be using three at the back. But yeah, this team is full of great players. If you know how to use every player correctly, then yeah, you should you should have no problem using them. Like I'm saying, this is actually a great team. I just tried them out recently in a kickoff game, and I actually really did enjoy using them. I was, you know, my, my tactics were a bit shaky because it was all about getting the ball to Zapata because you know I just wanted him throw and go. But apart from that, they do have some great wingers. So if you can use the wingers properly, then yeah, you will have fun. But like I said, defensively they are they are a shambles, so you might want to be careful. Like I said, don't go using them against Real Madrid, okay? I'm pre pretty sure you know the number one rule, number one rule by now. But yeah, Atalanta. The last team I'm gonna recommend that you guys should use is Lazio. Now this is another great four and a half star teams that you can use against other four and a half star teams and potentially four star teams. Now. The reason why I look at this team, you look at the team and tell me, you tell me, you, I don't even need to tell you, you should tell me, why would you want to use this team? Because they've got excellent high rate players. Look at that, Luis Alberto, Lucas Levi, Milinkovic, Savic. That's an excellent solid midfield right there. Excellent midfield. The wingers, mm, meaty, but don't worry about that. The strikers, Immobile and Correa. Come on, man. And in defense, you got Luis Felipe, a Kirby, I think. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. A Radu. But then look at the keeper. 83 raid keeper. See, this is a this is a very I want to call it average, but it's a it's a very excellent average team. It's an excellent average team. There's a lot of underrated teams that or should I can not call them yeah, underrated low-key teams that are people are not noticing. That people are not noticing that they could use in kickoff, man. Lazio is a great team. It's not everyday Premier League teams, man. You have to branch out and see that teams like Lazio has great players. Anyways, guys, that's the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this video that I gave you guys. Like I said, go try out these teams. Look, it's not everyday Real Madrid, Barcelona, Chelsea, Man City. Come on, try out some new teams. There's all these teams on FIFA. Why do you want to use the same teams all the time? Come on, man. Enjoy all the options you have. And yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let's just smash five likes in this video, yeah? Just, just five likes, you know? Five likes is all I'm asking for. That's not so hard, please, yeah? 